Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Judith Pollack and I'm speaking to you from Abbey College in Malvern. Uh, so we are a boarding school in the hills in the side of England and uh, I was invited today to speak to all of you who are looking for opportunities to study abroad. Maybe that is for high school, maybe that is for university, but I wanted to chat to you a little bit about um, our school and why you might want to be coming to England for an education. So uh, welcome and thank you for, for joining us today and uh, thank you to VEF for having us. Uh, so there are many, many reasons why students choose to come over to the United Kingdom. Sometimes it is academic. It's got to do with the choice of course that you want to study. Sometimes it's just for experience. You want to visit another country. Sometimes it's for connection. You want to meet people from all over the world. We don't live anymore in a world where you will spend your whole life in one country. We live in a world where we interact with people from other countries all the time. And so being part of a global student community right from high school or foundation or university sets you up for success in a global world. So here at Abbey College, we are a traditional boarding school and we offer all sorts of things. We do academic years, that is IGCSEs. That is the same as your lower high school, where, wherever you are in the world, it is the same as secondary or early high school. A-levels, that is the same as senior high school or the last year or two of high school. Foundation courses are an amazing one-year course that can be for two reasons. So one, it might be that where your school in your country runs up until and the university of your choice, whether that is in Europe or England or Ireland or overseas somewhere, maybe there's a gap and you don't have the qualification to get straight into university. You can do a one-year foundation course. Or maybe you're looking to get into something like law or engineering or medicine or business. And these degrees can be very difficult to get into. And so if your marks are a good pass, but maybe weren't quite enough to get into the course you wanted, you can do a one year foundation course in any of those subjects to get you into the university of your choice. If you are not sure that you are ready to commit for a whole year abroad or two years or four years, then using all year courses, two weeks or one term or summer vacation courses are a really, really good way to figure out whether education in England is for you before you commit to a longer academic course. We find here at Abbey that most of our students are wanting to start with us in high school or foundation because they want to go to a university in this country. British universities hold good reputations in countries around the world. And so our, our students go on to up to 60 of the universities in the UK. Um, some examples of that are Durham, Lochborough, the University of Warwick. And I think it's really important when you're choosing somewhere to do secondary or foundation education that you ask the facility which universities they work with. It's a big investment to come all the way to do secondary course or a foundation course. And to do that and then discover you still might not get into the university you want, that is very disappointing. So checking at the beginning which universities a school works with um, really is one of the things you should be ticking off. Okay, I'm going to take a few steps backwards now. Um, if you're coming from, uh, and I'm aware that we have students here from Turkey, but also from other places around the globe. So I want to be general. Sometimes it's quite hard to know where you have to fit in. Do I go to secondary school, foundation, IGCSEs, IBs, A-levels? What does it look like? 
So this slide gives you the age comparison. If you are 14, 15, 16, 17 years old, then you will be doing two years of IGCSE. This is um, your high school education. If you have finished your middle or high in your country and you are 17, 18, 19 years old, then you will be doing senior or academic high, which is called A-levels here in England, sometimes also called an IB, which is an international baccalaureate. So an IB is something where you would study six subjects for those two years. A-levels, you study three subjects. So if you are really certain of what you want to study when you get to university, A-levels are a great option. You can really focus in on the three subjects you want to study and get a lot of value out of that and be very ready for university. If you are still wanting a broader choice, maybe you aren't so sure yet which course you want to study, then an international baccalaureate with six subjects can be a good idea. Then you do a little bit less in depth, but more subjects. It means you have more choice when you get further on. If you finished high school altogether, as I mentioned, either there might be a gap between your high school and a British university, or there might be a gap between the marks you got and the marks you need for a specific course then a foundation is a one-year fast-track course to get into university. <clears throat> so here at Abbey College, we do foundation courses in engineering, law, business, medicine, dentistry, architecture, any number of courses that you could ask us about. They also help because that year gives you a chance to intensively work on your English. So. As students coming to England from abroad, you might be coming with a varying array of English abilities. Some of you may be very, very fluent already. Some of you might be at that level where you've done school English, but you don't feel comfortable having a conversation. When you get to university, it's expected that you are very proficient and comfortable in English. So if that isn't the case yet, a foundation year allows you the chance to really work on your English while you're studying the subjects you love. And you can see there in the block, I've just put in some of the subjects that we teach here at um, Abbey College. Um, you will find that both here at the college and at most British boarding schools, there are scholarships available for various reasons. So the most obvious one is academic achievement. Any student who does really well in high school, and I hope this is an encouragement for you all to study really hard and do well in your final exams, you have the opportunity to apply for scholarships. Abbey College doesn't focus just on academics, so we also offer scholarships for people who have any particular talent. You might be really good at drama, you might be really good at a musical instrument. You might be, you might excel in a sport or have taken part in some kind of activity for your town or your country. We would also look at those things when we decide to award scholarships. And this can make your study in a foreign country more affordable. So this chap here, uh, Mustafa, was a lovely student that we had a year or so back who studied with us on scholarship. And um, I think you can read there that he had a really, really positive experience studying in England. Now going on to study business at the University of Coventry. <clears throat> so this is just to talk to you a little bit more about the foundation courses. Um, so, just to show you that the um, facilities here at the school are very broad, from art studios to science laboratories to design spaces to academic classroom spaces. And each of these courses has been put together to not just give you a great um, end of high school result, but a perfect route 
into studying at the university of your choice, whether that's here in England or back in your home country. So if you come to a, a British secondary school and you complete either your A-levels, your IB or a foundation course, you will find that your pathway into a university in your home country or around the world is something that is very smooth and also something that we help you with. So here in England, when you move from high school to university, you're asked to fill in something called a UCAS statement. That tells the universities all about you, your marks, your personality, your interests, what projects you've been involved in. So we as a school will help you to create that document that will be part of your application to whatever course or job or apprenticeship you choose to go on to after school. Uh, so here are just some of our international students who have joined us for the foundation courses, uh, which is senior secondary from around the world. We have students at Abbey College. We're very lucky to have a very broad global community of students from countries all over the world who join us every year. Um, I have the privilege of running the school social media account and often we will still be getting comments under pictures from students 10 years ago tagging friends that they've made in other countries, that they've traveled to go and see after they finished high school, that they've kept up professional relationships with as they enter the workforce. Uh, it really is something that you cannot put a value on to create a network of friends from around the world who have shared your high school experience. So of course, that is all of the academics, that is all about subjects and doing well and getting into great universities. But we also know that a lot of high school is just about having an amazing experience. So um, here at Abbey College, we are, always very keen to have you be active and part of all our um, activities. The school itself has a gym, a library, a cinema, pool tables, table tennis tables, common rooms. We do the normal sports, football, tennis, all of that kind of thing. Also some really fun ones like um, fencing, fighting with swords, uh, archery, using the bow and arrows, um, for our social life, we have barbecue evenings and fire pits and campfires, discos, parties. We try to make life on campus uh, really as um, all around balanced as possible. So your English is getting better, your academics are getting better, you have access to lots of activities, and you have access to plenty of friends and social connection. So the final thing that I wanted to share, and again, um, I know that, that today there was really to speak to you about the things you want to consider when you're choosing a high school. So it's not just about our high school, but I want to share from our context that a lot of schools in England will also have connections to schools in other countries. For example, our college, Abbey, has a branch in Prague in the Czech Republic where we do a medical and dentistry foundation course. So that means you can either come and study this course with us in England or you can do it on the Charles University campus in Prague and then go on to universities around Europe. So choosing a high school in England doesn't just mean being able to go to a university in England. It also opens doors to European universities and to universities around the world and programs around the world. So this is a lot of writing on a slide. I'm not going to go through all of it. For those of you who are interested and you know already long term that you might be interested in something to do with the sciences, that is something you could ask us about and we would send all of this information through to you. So I'm just going to bump through a couple of these, a couple of them of more students who've been with us from Iran, the United Arab Emirates, from Sri Lanka, who have all come across and joined the Abbey College family 
and had an amazing experience. Um, right, so I wanted to just take the last few minutes to speak more generally about what you would be looking at when you look for a school overseas. And so here were a few points. I don't have them on a slide. So if you have a notebook, please write these down. Also, um, I'm hoping the guys at VAF can confirm I might be able to answer a few questions when I'm done. Uh, so the first thing that I want to say to every student around the world, it is very easy, it is very easy these days to make a website look really lovely. It is easy to make uh, a brochure look really lovely. That doesn't tell you what the school is like and what the school is about. Two things that you can do, first of all, is to build a relationship with a really good agent. Most agents in other countries will have made sure that they have either visited our school, they've come and spent time here, seen the campus, met us, or that they have met us at um, meetings and roadshows, etc. They will have vetted the school and will be able to say to you, yes, this school is really good. They are very good at sports. This is a school to go to if you are wanting a, that university. This is the right school if you are worried about academics. The agents know and understand the schools and can give you really good advice. The second thing you can do, either as well as having an agent or if you want to come directly to the schools, is ask to have face-to-face -face meetings. We love it when students ask to have a Zoom meeting with one of us, uh, whether that is the headmaster or the registrar or uh, me. I, I work with the international network of students. I love to have conversations with students to answer all of their questions, the big ones, the little ones, the weird ones. I don't mind how good or not good yet your English is. I don't mind what your questions are. But you will be able to get a better sense of the school if you have conversations with the people at that school. So that is my biggest piece of advice. Also, don't be afraid to ask for details of other students who've studied at the school so that you can contact them and find out about their experience, how the boarding houses were, how the accommodation was, what the teachers were like. So, for example, here at Abbey College, we're in a place called Malvern. It's a beautiful countryside environment. We've got hills, nature conservation, our campus is 70 acres. It's very, very beautiful. But if you thought that you were going to be in London or Manchester or a big city, you might come to Abbey and go, this isn't the kind of school I wanted to go to. So it's really important that you have spoken to other students and staff to understand, is it a city school? Is it a countryside school? If it's country, will they take me into the cities? We take our students on excursions every three weeks. We offer the students the bus to go to London, to Bristol, to Birmingham, to Stratford-upon-Avon. There's a question you can ask your school. Other than being in a classroom, what other things do you offer for me as a student? Once you've asked those questions, asked for photographs, asked for references from other students, and you can put all of that together and you feel you have a good feeling about the school, that is the time to do your application forms and move forward. Then the next step of that is going to be very paperwork heavy. The school is always here to help you with questions about your visas, about COVID travel restrictions, what uh, tests or vaccinations you might need here in England. We like people to be vaccinated, but we also accept students who aren't vaccinated if they have certain tests. The school can do all of that and, and the school should do all of that and help you with that. Which airport should I come to? Will somebody fetch me from there? Your school is here to be your home environment while you study in another country. So really, it's our job 
to make sure that all of those things that can be a little bit scary if it's your first time going to another country, it's our job to make sure all of that goes really very smoothly. So um, I guess I want to check in with my colleagues at VEF to say, is there the opportunity to answer any questions? <laughs> 